Then I went to India, where I worked in an agricultural institute. Uh, these ideas went on developing. I then saw how I could bring them all together in a synthesis and into a new, new way of seeing how biology could be done. And I wrote a book while still in India called A New Science of Life. In it, the basic idea I'm suggesting is that there's a kind of inherent memory in all kinds of animals and plants. Each species has its own collective memory. So each member of the species draws on this collective memory and in turn contributes to it. <coughs> this means that the instincts of animals, for example, the behavior of cuckoos, the spinning of webs by spiders, are like a memory, a habit of the species. This inheritance takes place by the process I call morphic resonance, by a kind of invisible, intangible memory. Um, um, a kind of resonance between present and past organisms of the same kind. The same theory helps explain how our own memory works by a resonance between our own past and our present states. It leads to the idea that our memories aren't stored in our brains, but that we're tuning into them by this process of morphic resonance. <coughs>